From that video, that same day, I get a call from a buyer to buy that same house that I showed. Your <laughs> five minutes of time paid you like what, 15 grand. Whenever you think of a business, think of a football game, a soccer game, where there are 11 players. That's the great analogy for putting a successful business together. Mm -hmm. The event coming to like, who is it for and what they're gonna learn. All this together is like 100,000 value. Yeah. What they have to pay now. Okay, so formally, who is gonna start with the, the man of the other? Uh, ladies, ladies okay, first. The ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so well, my name is Armand Anand. You guys obviously all know, but this whole journey has been a very interesting one, right? And the way you start from being an immigrant, coming to this country, and just having high hopes. And then you think about, okay, what are you going to do? process that next? You know, you don't even know where you land, first of all. But then to figure out all the other steps, it takes a lot of time. So I'm just going to share a little bit about my, like, about my journey because maybe some people that are listening to this can relate to that and vice versa. So yeah, just came into this country, immigrant, came in 2003, ending 2004, Gallo. You know, um, came from Amritsar, Punjab. Landed in this beautiful country called Kapil Sharma Town. Yeah, Kapil Sharma Town. Kapil Sharma Town. I don't even know who he was for the longest time until I had to research him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because you know, once you come here, then I'm trying to fully be Canadianized and be be immersed, you know, immersed yeah. in this culture, right? So when you come here, and then you're trying to figure out, okay, kuch na kuch karna hi right? Parents have to work double shifts, triple shifts, just to try to make it even. Then I got into the real estate business, just to cut it short. Grew up. Finished university, dropped out third year. Then right after, it's like, what are you University degree bhi nahi Parents ne baad nikal diya. Ab kya plan hai? Right. So I got into the real estate business, and the reason why I got into that real estate business is because I saw, you know, there's no specific guideline of how much you can make in one year. Nice. So you have infinity that you can chase. And there is no restrictions on your cap for salaries. And then from there, you know, started being one of the top sales guys in Toronto. Then now I live in Windsor, Windsor, Ontario, and and yeah, just crushing it in real estate year after year with my friend Dutya here as well. He's in real estate also. We're in the same market now, so it's a lot It's a lot of fun, you know, being together. But, uh, but yeah, that's a little bit about my story. Awesome. Talk to you guys. Hey, I'm the youngest <laughs> immigrant over here. <laughs> maybe in the age, maybe in the age, I might be a little higher than him and him. But uh, I came to Canada in 2019. It was uh, like a very, you know, movie, risky move that, you know, that, you know, my business all flopped and everything when I was in India. So I was like, kahin pe to kuch shuru karna. and that was uh, like, uh, 2018 that we decided my wife and I, I don't know why did she even continue staying with somebody who didn't have a job <laughs> but uh, so I think it's more of a belief maybe that is why uh, Sometimes you don't believe yourself so much, but people around you believe more in you. Yeah. But those people don't know, you're in Punjabi too, right? Yeah, I'm from Punjab. I'm literally with all the Punjabis here. Yeah, bro. Don't worry, we, we, we claim you, we claim you, don't worry. <laughs> but you know what, you're also from Punjab, we trace back the roots, Ancestry.com. Oh, I'm just joking, every Punjabi says Ancestry.com. Yeah, 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 yeah,
जाना किसी के घर पे घर दिखाना वो घर से काम करने वाला काम सीख रहा आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क फ्रॉम होम वर्क फ्रॉम वन स्पेस I have I want to live that kind of a life. But you want to be your own boss though. I want to be my own boss. Yeah. So that was the most important thing in your journey I guess. Yeah, right? yeah 100%. That's why I left college. But bro, how did you quit your college like in second day? Second day. Second day that's more that no but he knew what he wanted. That's the thing. He knew I, that's okay. good. Ek pura din kaam kiya. Why did you even go to the college? Did you free t-shirt mil gaya us din? That is the only reason. Wo hota na ki jab college mein aap admission leta then you get something uh, participation participation. Ye class lag gayi. मैंने कहा शिट व्हाट एम आई डूइंग आई आई एम 30 32 इयर्स ओल्ड एंड मैं अभी फिर से अपनी लाइफ स्टार्ट कर रहा हूं देन आई इतना मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस है मैं इससे अच्छा ऊबर चला लूंगा मैं चॉकलेट स्टोर में काम कर लूंगा इन फैक्ट ये सब चीजें की कार सेल्स में जॉब किया तो दैट गिव मी कॉन्फिडेंस बिकॉज़ आई थॉट कि जितना भी ज्यादा मैं कौन, अपना कॉन्फिडेंस और एक्सपोजर बढ़ाऊंगा द बेटर आई एम गोइंग टू बी इन एनीथिंग दैट आई डू इन माय बिजनेस श्योर सो दैट इज वेयर आई स्टार्टेड लर्निंग अबाउट इट टू कट इट शॉर्ट वहां से आई स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग माय डिजिटल मार्केटिंग बिजनेस हेल्पिंग अ लॉट ऑफ रियल एस्टेट एजेंट्स स्लोली ग्रेजुअली चेंजिंग डिजिटल मार्केटिंग इनटू कंटेंट मार्केटिंग एजेंसी दैट्स हाउ इट्स मेड या ब्रो यू हैव टू मेंशन अबाउट द इंस्टाग्राम ब्रो द द क्रिएटिव रील्स सी माय यस आई मीन दिस इज जस्ट आई मीन वो ये लाइक द थिंग दैट आई वाज ऑलरेडी डूइंग फॉर माय क्लाइंट्स आई थॉट कि नाउ यू नो पोस्ट स्विच ऑन करना है कि स्विच ऑन ऐसा ही होता है कि दैट यू नो इफ यू नो दैट यू हैव टू कंसिस्ट जैसे वर्कआउट होता है ना राइट लाइक आई बीन वर्किंग आउट फ्रॉम द लास्ट आई डोंट नो टू 10 12 इयर्स तो यू नो दैट द बॉडी एक दिन में नहीं बनेगी दो दिन में नहीं बनेगी इट विल टेक लाइक इयर्स एंड इयर्स के लिए यू हैव टू बिल्ड दैट काइंड ऑफ अ डिसिप्लिन एंड कंसिस्टेंसी सिमिलरली आई थॉट अगर इफ आई हैव टू ग्रो माय सोशल मीडिया देन इट कैन नॉट हैपन ओवरनाइट लाइक यू ऑल नो दैट यू नो सक्सेस देयर इज नो सच थिंग एज ओवरनाइट सक्सेस नो उसके लिए भी 10 साल लगते हैं 5 साल लगते हैं 20 साल लगते हैं कि एक एक दिन को जो यहां पर आपके वो बेसिक ग्रोथ है people might know okay oh this you are so lucky you got 300000 followers but there is a 3 years of hard work ghisana <laughs> dekha yaar video nahi chal rahi depressed hona but yeah. fir bhi banana i think wo cheez mujhe ye sikha gaya ke matlab ki don't think about the end result mm-hmm. just do it consistently so just a curious question for people who are wants to you know do the social media right like so you're doing your social media and also you're parallel running your business is your social media presence helping you to gain business yeah i tell you that i didn't realize at the time jab uh, when i was already working with other clients where i had to pitch myself that guys i'm a social media content creator not a, even a content creator i can help you grow your social media but the whole shift has changed now people are approaching me oh i already know you from there i'm a big fan can how can i work with you mm-hmm. that narrative that conversation has changed automatically क्योंकि नाउ आई डोंट हैव टू गो एज दैट यू नो इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ एज अ बिजनेस कार्ड अब सेलिब्रिटी हो गए भाई सेलिब्रिटी तो नहीं बट आई वुड से नो नो अगेन यू नो इन योर ओन एरिया राइट लाइक यू नो व्हेन यू बिकम अ सेलिब्रिटी टेक्निकली इन योर ओन फील्ड आई आई कैन रिलेट टू द सेम वे लाइक आई मेरे करियर शुरुआत हुआ सोशल मीडिया से आई स्टार्टेड विद YouTube वीडियोस एंड आई नेवर हैड टू लुक फॉर अ क्लाइंट टिल द डे नॉक द वुड एंड पीपल आस्क लाइक समटाइम्स मेरे असिस्टेंट in calls me and said this guy is so like frustrated he do he want to talk to you he don't want to talk to anyone in the team mm-hmm. he or she like then that's happens because the present social media presence right mm-hmm. so any business it can happen to anyone like literally i'm pretty sure it's for you same right like yeah. people for you're heavy on the social media as well sure absolutely so kudos to you so let's go to vancouver now from toronto <laughs> to windsor to toronto <laughs> to vancouver <laughs> come to vancouver i'm so yeah. toronto windsor i'm so toronto windsor i'm not fully windsor uh, yeah he doesn't want to just yeah. 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 he's still so on toronto keep it windsor <laughs> So, क्या चल रहा है वैंकूवर में तो बहुत कुछ चल रहा है और लेकिन नाइस टू बी हियर टूडे कम इन टोरटो आर यूज टू कम इन फ्यू मंथ बड़े सालों बाद आया बट या सो दिस इज हाउ आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई नेम इज अभी आर्य फादर ऑफ टू गर्ल्स सिक्स डॉग्स हजबेंड सुपर वोमन स्ट्रीट कार रेसर टर्न होटेलिया एंड नाउ फाउंडर ऑफ इंटरनेट मोबल्स सो दैट्स ये छोटी सी यही जर्नी है कि आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम अ स्ट्रीट कार रेसर आई थॉट कि मैं दैट विल बिकम माई प्रोफेशन आई यू टू रेस स्ट्रीट कार हाँ कोई अंडरग्राउंड वगैरह जैसे भी होता था places where you could learn and everything but when uh, that point in time just that point in time my dad said oh you know what i don't have the money right now to do all of that for you otherwise they could have been a different trajectory yeah so anyway so then i started working with my dad he had a small hotel started working in the hotel that became a sort of a 
एट दैट टाइम इंटरनेट नया नया आया था एंड सो नया नया नहीं जैसे अभी क्रिप्टो है करना सब नहीं है लेकिन नो बडी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू डू इट सो सर इन इट एंड माई फर्स्ट बुक आई रोड कॉल एक्सीडेंटल फर्स्ट मूवर टू दैट इज टू एट अब ऑथर भी है मेरे को पता वो पता नहीं ऑथर उस टाइम बहुत बड़ी बात थी आज तो आई थिंक मोस्ट पीपल शुड बिकम ऑथर एंड शेयर दर एक्सपीरियंस इट ऑल्सो हेल्प इन गेटिंग बिजनेस इफ यू रन ऑन दिल्ड एन अथॉरिटी राइट सो एनी वे सो दैट टू कॉफ टू थाउजेंड फोर फाइव की बात करें that time to tell by the google and expedia came to india and uh, so they hired me to talk about internet marketing it was not for digital marketing oh, so you are very early stager yes mm-hmm. so when i did that so they would organize big events and i started speaking to 2000 people 3000 people and i'm telling them how the internet is working for me in my small business and then obviously at the end of the event people would come and say hey, can you do this for us hey, how do you do this for you so you open an agency what is an agency an agency is i don't even know what an agency does so that's when after a lot of people said this then 15th august 2009 we started a company with a four member team mm-hmm. internet moguls started helping people with their like internet sorry. marketing helping like in general anyone or any only hotels thing? only hotels because i i became a, i was a hotel yeah i was working hotel, in, a, yeah. in a in a motel and then we grew our hotel business then we grew this digital business and then once the digital business became bigger than the hotel business then i had to find an identity for myself which was separate from my mom my dad and everybody so i said i am a digital marketer people were like what so digital marketer means like what is digital digital the words aate the like digital was not anyway so it was that early in the day and i didn't even know if anything is going to happen with it i was just a frustrated young man who was saying i need to have my own identity and uh-huh. who am i wo mil nahi raha tha wo so i was like kuch karna hai to mera hai jo pata laga people started saying oh you're a digital marketer so i said i'll put my flag in the ground and say it gives me <laughs> nobody else is this is me mama papa ne diya hua nahi ha ye main hu to usme bahut maza aa raha tha and so usi baat ko i think ab 15 20 saal ho gaye so that's what i've been doing so And, wow. uh, yeah, so that's 15 years, man. Way you are the most experienced person I've met so far. Yeah, my. I made yeah. the most mistakes. That means, <laughs> 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 which is good, right? Right, exactly, exactly. So, man, I don't know now what to say. मेरे को वर्स नहीं आ रहा है. It's good to see all the hustlers. I'm a little hustler. I, I, I came as a student, you know. Um, with a lot of uh, debts from a farmer family a um, lot of responsibility financial responsibility because mm, my parents they always lived in poverty like they always uh, my dad was in dubai doing labor jobs my mom was in my grandma's home so technically we are homeless for years they never had money to at least survive right. like just just always under the debts all the time so hard working people they borrowed money to send me here um canada i asked padhai ke liye and then i finished my education um or oh, like every immigrant did all the crazy stuff right all the jobs all the hard jobs are, all the hard jobs because you just need to survive you just need food i cannot ask my dad they are already borrowed for 24% interest and that interest wow, is already yeah. growing crazy um and got into it job because i was my background was uh, computer science so thank god like that i couldn't find a it job in toronto i was in toronto i i got a job in windsor <laughs> you know many people ask me why windsor destiny bro i have yeah. no clue i was literally <laughs> desperate yeah. to go anywhere because i need to make money and i was not that smart in the college to drop out college or anything i didn't had any other i don't know what to do i was like just okay let me finish the job i let me follow the crowd yeah. let me get it job get into consultancy job i was working uh, i worked in it for 5 years while i was working i realized like so many things one it was not getting financially where i wanted because you know my family was always separated for years and even now i came to canada for a better life but with a job income i was like what the heck happening rent is going for like 1100 1200 and then car payment 2000 dollars with the insurance this and that and like leftover is nothing If I want to bring my parents all together, if I want to go back to to, yeah. to India, if you if I want to you know go on a vacation, there's no money left. Like this is not working. I got to do something else. So I started trying different things. I tried e-commerce, the digital side. I, I I said like this is not me. I was the opposite. I tried the other things, Uber driving, whatever MLM. Mm. Um, then I I found out about real estate. Um, started investing. I got a for property in 
with almost no money because I didn't have money with almost like <laughs> my initial investment was eight thousand dollars and bought this property. It's like live in one unit, the hundred and twenty years old property, the cheapest house in the ugliest neighborhood in Windsor. So that's the only way I can get because I only had five thousand dollars. <laughs> so moved into one unit, rented out the other unit. The cool thing happened after three months. Damn, I was living for free, and the tenants are paying all my mortgage and everything. I'm like, I love this. Let's go for another one. How can I bring more money? I had to borrow from friends, this and that. So I started that investing journey. And in that process, I, um, financial debts got, uh, my money is all in the properties. My papa called here like, Beta, you need another 100,000. Your sister is getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I was making just like four thousand dollars per month, and my wife was making two thousand dollars. That's when I got into sales and social media. So now, been doing sales for the last four years. Have a small team, me and four other agents, and uh, we are crushing it in Windsor area. And of course, we own a bunch of properties, you know, multi multi families, this and that. So that's apartment buildings. Yeah. Yeah, so I know we are not here to just bra as tell the stories, uh, just stories are for relating. But one thing I see in common on all of us, right? You're on social media, that's why your business started to grow faster. And you're literally, you started with social media, right. digital marketing. And you excelled your social media. Yeah. I'm assuming you didn't start with social media. No, I started, well, social media was a big part of the whole journey of real estate because I used to do pre-construction so all the condos that you're looking at outside mm -hmm. right here in Toronto we sold these high rises so we would so, sell them through Facebook gosh, yeah. we would sell them from talking about them and you know sponsoring different different things but uh, there's different marketing mm -hmm. strategies but everything was social media related but how did, I'm really interested in knowing about you like TikTok how did you grow so fast so TikTok was actually just one, like one of those things that when I I an open house with her. This was an open house in Niagara Falls. And I'm just sitting in this open house and I'm sitting with my my good friend and he's like, I want to, he was, he was shadowing me to try to learn real estate because he's going to be part of my team. And while he's watching, he's like, did you TikTok about me? So did you, did you hear what this TikTok thing is? It's a new app. It's a new this app. Is this is like two years ago. Okay. But I didn't like so TikTok was just two years. No, 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 no. I was just late was... to find out about it. Oh, okay. TikTok was around for for a very long time, but I heard about TikTok. I thought it was a Chinese company, something Chinese. Uh, okay. I was like, it's not really in Canada. I didn't really look at it. And then when I looked at it for like two or three days, I mean, they, they cut the news, and all I saw was like sixteen year or seventeen year old kids. I'm dancing. Uh, the got this is not an app for professionals. I'm gonna stay away from here. Little do you know, that became the app that I, I started enjoying the most. Because he, uh, he opened up the app for me and he's like, Let's video like, let's just use TikTok, let's figure out how to use this. So we're like, okay, let's, let's screw it, let's do it. Uh, yeah. I'm a guy that tries everything and like, I, my personality is very goofy. I just like to do anything and everything. Just I just go with the flow of things. So here we are, we're sitting down and he's like, enter this house. In my first video, I'm doing this like run around thing. Like, <laughs> I'm like trying to act like a 16 year old, right? I, you, you might not believe this, but you have a personality of a social media influencer. Yeah, I, I didn't know until now. You might not even know that back then. No, I didn't know. But you were yeah. so like, I, I'm sorry, I'm uh, uh, cutting you a bit. No, too. no, you're good. Yeah. But the reason why I say that, because you're so natural. Here, we know how many trials and errors <laughs> they never did. He, he, he has that, um, he can deliver any message with a good yeah. um, format or... So flow is good, like the flow is good, like yeah. his... And of course looking good, sharp. <laughs> I appreciate it man, thank you. But it's just yeah, one of those things, like, it's just natural, right? Like I don't really try to be someone that I'm not. Yeah. So you just turn the camera on, I'm like just record, let's see what happens. I just recorded this stupid video for like 30 seconds. And it was just like, show this house and I was like... This is a two bedroom, but I'm not saying anything in this whole video. All I'm doing is like twirling around, going up the stairs, coming down, smiling, doing something like this, right? We posted it. First video got like 150,000 views oh, that nice. same, oh. same day. And I was like, my phone just kept on going, ping, 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 ping. And I'm like, what the hell is happening with my phone? I think my phone's getting hacked. And then I'm looking at my friend, he's like, you're going viral. This is, <laughs> you're going viral. 
Because then you're like, what is viral? <laughs> because <laughs> I, I thought viral, like, you know, I got a flu or something, right? I'm like, and then you're going viral. I'm like, shit, this is, this is what I feel like going viral feels like. And like, this is, it was addicting. But then I started seeing all the, like, the negative comments. And they're like, they're like, this guy, this, this is what real estate agents selling Niagara Falls look like. Something stupid. Like, the people are just hating. Yeah, yeah. But then I saw a lot of positive comments. And then from that video, that same day, I get a call from a buyer to buy that same house that I showed. And literally right after that first guy, he came there, gave me a check, bought the house. Wow. Right away on double end of the deal. And I was like, this Ooh. is crazy. That sparked something in me right away. And I'm like, you know what? This is the sickest platform ever because maybe it was fluke, but let's try it again. Yeah. Did five Mainly more the videos. fluke is good. Good fluke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It paid me another 15 grand that I wasn't well, going to get paid for. You, your, your five minutes of time paid you like what, 15 grand? I gave, believe it or not, I gave half of that commission to my friend because he's the one who actually told oh, me to make this video. Damn. So that was just a homage to my Good job, job, bro. That's, that's a bro. fucking good story. I didn't know that. See? Yeah. I, I didn't mean, know that. That's, okay. a, that's yeah. a crazy one. Because he, you know, if it wasn't for him, I would never be on TikTok. Yeah. And then from there, I made like five, six videos the same week and I just had a following like it just kept on going crazy I, I remember you're that uh, crazy viral one but, uh, <laughs> yeah. I was courtside at a Raptors game right. and I'm sitting right behind the bench like right behind the bench of the opposing team so Toronto Raptors are playing Celtics at the time and I have in my hand chicken chicken fingers that I ordered and I'm just doing this to the other bench in the middle of the timeout just to, just to get them like distracted because I can hear all their plays and all their players are looking at me like this like because they can't say anything they're on camera right <laughs> I record that because I just I just posted on my snapchat I posted the same story on my Instagram it went to house of highlights sports center sports net got like no 15 way. million views and then from there my TikTok looks like 100k and then I just started going more and more and just talking about myself my experiences and and real estate and that's, that, that's one crazy thing I realized like by you know following your journey and yours too yeah. because you guys do something that you're passionate about, yeah. that you love. I mean, of course, I do this. <laughs> you're not passionate about real estate? No, I'm not passionate about it, but like... <laughs> but you know, in, in general, like, yeah. you know, your content, it's not really like, you know, something... It's not forced. Not forced, it's like organic. Yeah. You know, and you're you're showing your lifestyle that you're passionate about, right? Yeah. Like, you, you're dressing up your cars. Yeah. You're in Saudi cars, so what the heck is that, Ferrari? Yeah, yeah. I, I cannot do the same stuff because I'm not passionate about it, but yeah. I can do the same stuff with uh, other stuff that you know I'm passionate about so that's a crazy thing and you are into this what researching stuff yeah wow. the most interesting facts I've ever learned are from your from your profile exactly like ever <laughs> like some of the stuff I can't even comprehend I'm like what how the hell I didn't know the great all this information that's what the value of the great wall of China I can make it the facts I I learn educational things on your page and the yeah. way you express everything in like a short period because yeah. no one has time to like I can look at it and see if there's something or boring thing that person doesn't have time but with your page I feel like it's so engaging because it's quick. It's like little snacks. Yeah. Was, you, that tells me how much you love about researching something that is unique. Yeah. That if you don't have passion, do you think you would continue that journey? No, the, nobody can replicate this for you, right? Like I will tell you, Aditya, I want you to start researching and yeah. start making content about this. You did that. What did I, I tried. <laughs> what did I, I tried that. But it didn't work out for you. I, was, I used to say it like, yes. hey, bro, I was like, I couldn't even make content out of it. Yeah, that. what are you saying now? <laughs> I would even give, give him hooks. When you see, this is the hook. Now start making content. Do a little bit of a research. He's like, bro, I tried this. <laughs> I can't do it. But I think uh, suit suit and so you see my I'm not really doing it just for the research point of view because there are two sides to it. One is that research like I feel very curious that I want to know something which not many people know about. So what I know, then I then I think about will this moment give somebody a aha moment or not? Will they think, oh wow, this is crazy, I never know, I knew about this. Yeah. So that is one fact. And another thing is that I want to improve my storytelling. Hmm. I really love storytelling. Hmm. So I want to see like how can I give some information in a way that is digestible and easy for even a third grader to understand. Yeah. So I try to not use very big vocabulary words, I try to use very small and uh, easy to understand words, break it down in a way, honestly for myself, because I don't understand so heavy words or so heavy things. Mm -hmm. So even if when, like, uh, there's so many videos that I made, I don't know how does this really work. So I had to go back and search and understand how this thing is going so that I can understand it. If I were to explain it to myself, how would I break it down? 
तो उसका एग्जाम्पल बड़े सिंपल वे से देखना फेयर देन आई स्टार्टेड इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द सेम थिंग्स इन माई वीडियोज एंड पीपल बट यू दस थिंग लाइक द कॉमन थिंग दर आई सी इवन यू टॉक अबाउट लाइक डिफरेंट बिजनेस हाउ एव स्मॉल बिजनेस कैन यूज द सोशल मीडिया लाइफ वट आई सी इन कॉमन ऑफ यू योर पैशन अबाउट दैट स्टफ योर पैशन अबाउट रिसर्चिंग योर पैशन अबाउट लाइफ स्टाइल आई एम पैशन अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग आई लव टॉकिंग अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग आई डोंट माइंड लाइक टॉकिंग फॉर आवर्स वेन वी वेन वी टेक आवर पैशंस पुरी टॉन सोशल मीडिया कंसिस्टेंट बेसिस जेनरेटिंग बिजनेस is that like something that i can oh for sure i feel like is the you know these things go back into your passion shows knowledge and it's something that you're so passionate about so you want to learn more about it you want to be the yeah. best in that field or that expert right so you're the best in your field in terms of your digital marketing agency right yeah. everything that you're doing there is showing that okay look this is what i've been doing because you're passionate about it it gave you right. your own identity 100%. so that identity was something that you were chasing and longing for but you're not faking it now to try to say look i have to pretend to be somebody else because the family pressure societal pressure right. so you found your identity there but you're ch- you're you're being yourself right you found your purpose you found Honestly, your goal i tried to be fake because i you know i thought maybe that will work because I think it happens for with a lot of people. Yeah, I talk about I would say that yeah, yeah. sabke saath hi hota. But the thing is I believe every human being needs a lot of love. Everybody needs to be hugged and said koi baat nahi ho jayega. It will work out. So when you're scared and you're anxious and you want to belong and say you know what like like can we be friends when you're a child when you're 4 years old? It's the same thing when you're 46 years old. Can we be friends? Mm-hmm. And you want and there are people who want the world to be their friends and whatever. But you can't be friends by saying give me something. You have to be friends by saying I'll give you something first. Give value. Mm-hmm. So I cannot give you what I don't have. So I tried to be fake by giving what I don't have, and it it failed. And then it brought me back to understanding what is it that I have. Gary V played a very important role in my life. I met him. Too. I just had the opportunity to meet him. Just like Ooh. we are meeting. No way. How was that right. meeting? Jack, no, Jack, Jack Hook. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I went to his office. We had that. He put that episode. On, he put that meeting on his episode. I put it on my channel. So and then we hit it off because I had a story to share with him. So then he said, "I'm coming to for lunch to Vancouver." So he came for lunch. We had lunch together, and we recorded the episode again. So anyway, between Gary V and my mom and dad, these are the best entrepreneurs in my life mm-hmm. because of the stories that uh, I learned from this. So after meeting Gary V, I changed my business card. And my business card says, "Social media is the biggest opportunity in the history of business because it allows me to connect with anybody on the planet. Yeah, I don't need to have a big following. I can run Facebook ads to somebody in Australia in that one circuit." Before I go for an event, and when I go for an event, there will be somebody tapping me on the back. Hey, Abhi, I saw you, and I, you know, I've heard about you. Uh-huh. So even if I've never been to Australia, yeah, isn't that magic? Wow. So then yeah. I created a framework around it, and I said that people need three things to be successful. Get you need to uh, around videos. So you need three types of videos: a video, micro video to get known, micro videos to get leads, and micro videos to get sales. And there are three, three, three types of videos. I made that framework for myself uh-huh. because uh, I just wanted to test how that works and. the agency was which was focused only on uh, hotels started getting coaching clients that's what i wanted and we started teaching people how to you know become coaches and how to become trainers and basically the thing was that my mom and dad i've been very close to them I speak to them every morning and my mom and dad have always said i if i feel giving you so much love we don't want you scared but fear aata hai na like fear is always be part of so like so my dad is always like go for the big hit like Charge twenty thousand, charge thirty. Like Why I think movie? it, uh. and deliver ten times higher than that. Don't charge small and play small. Charge very, charge high ticket. Now, oh, so when I come, when I come to Canada and I see a lot of people, they they being scared because they don't know how, and yeah. it takes so much time. I think it's the confidence there too, right? Exactly. They lack the confidence exactly. to believe in themselves. Lack the confidence to believe in themselves. Thank you for saying that. Exactly. So the thing is that some few videos done consistently has the power to change your life. And so what I'm passionate about is when I see uh, families staying in you know in a very cold place, minus forty, husband is staying in some other place, and they have come to Canada to be spread apart, and we're not happy, but we're trying to put a smile on our face, or we're going for a job which is just about paying all the bills like you said, yeah. you're paying the bills, and we're like, hey, I'm in Canada. Hey, you behind me and come take a picture, <laughs> smile. The smile is not coming. It's not coming. <laughs> People are like. पैशन 
you know, so that's a very really good point you raised. Um, new immigrants, immigrants here, a lot of people ask me, oh, I want to get into real estate sales. Uh, I'm just new to the country. Is it, is it okay for me to start now? Can I do it? Is it like, what do you tell people in that situation? Because a lot of immigrants are in that situation. They, they know that they can do it. They, they, they love to do it. But oh, how do I pay my bills? I tell you my dad, again, my dad is everything in my life for, for an entrepreneurship. So he taught me one thing many years ago and I just want to give that story. So I was running my agency and I'm here in Canada and one day I didn't, I didn't talk to them. I talked to them every day. I didn't talk to them. Two days, three days. My dad's like, what happened? I said, I'm just stressed. What happened? I said, I'm going for a coding course. He said, why? I said, because I've got coders in my office who tell me that the deadline is after a month. They are taking me for a ride. I feel like a fool. I need to understand coding myself. So he said, why do you need to understand it? I said, what do you mean, why do I need to understand it? I'm the captain of the team. He said, no, you're not the captain. I said, who am I? I'm this my company. He said, no, you're not the captain. I said, who am I then? He said, you're the coach. And your job is to put the right captain in the right this thing. So that changed everything for me. So coming back to your question, when somebody says, can I do real estate? Or can I do insurance brokers? Or can I become a digital marketer? Can I become a content creator? My answer to that over the years of experience, what I've seen is, Whenever you think of a business, think of a football game, a soccer game, where there are 11 players. You don't need to necessarily be the person who's putting the ball in the goal. You could be one and everybody else can be hired. When you think like that, you say, I'm not good at sales, great, get somebody for sales. Mm -hmm. I'm great at sales, but I don't like to do the showing. Great, yeah. get somebody for sales. Well I don't like paperwork. What happens is people look at the whole complex ecosystem of any business and say, oh, I can't do all of this. You don't have to do all of that. That's the best part. It's not a job. Yeah. <laughs> you can choose what you like and yeah. give somebody else to do what they want. That's that's my point. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually a great part. Like that helped me like I had to understand read this book I, I don't have a mentor like you lucky you um, I found a book who not how who not how dance yeah, everyone yeah, yeah that, that, that yeah. taught me but you know for, for even more beginners right like at least the concept that you're talking probably you know works for us all of us who are at least <laughs> took that first step sure. who are in the game right but who are like completely new maybe you know you were you're, you're coming from that phase yeah. you're coming from that phase too like you you started literally new like would it be better for you to do job for a couple of years have a, at least some savings or would you you know were you happy by jumping in right away you quitting your job right quitting your studies yeah, so I would say that, you know, uh, what really matters in this kind of a scenario, like how extreme are you able to take, what is your risk taking ability? Like a lot of people don't do that thinking, oh, businesses are risky, you know, you can, yeah. because there is no uh, end of the month, make cocaine, salaries, salary is the biggest uh, cocaine drug in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if, you're, if you get addicted to that, and once you think that, you know, the problem is people try to find confidence outside. Right. They have to find inside. it inside. I love that, yeah. You yeah. don't have to, you can't think of it that, you know, this guy is going to change my life. Yeah. You are going to change your life. Nobody can do push-ups yeah. for you. Nobody can do push-ups <laughs> for you. Yeah. Exactly. That's true. So I think people need to start believing in themselves rather than thinking who yeah. they can believe. And they could be their own best guides. Yeah. And wherever you need help, like he said, that you know, be the coach in your. I really love that analogy of the the football team, and you know, uh, you don't have to be the captain of the ship. Yeah. You have to be the coach of the ship. Yeah. And this is how you need to see businesses also. And this is what I. Oh my God, that's the great analogy for putting a successful business together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I started doing workshops, being a coach thinking that I can help these businesses understand how they can grow their business. Right. Yeah. And they started hiring me for that. Mm -hmm. That's true. True. Yeah. And that's an event that you want to talk about also. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's true. But all of you know, people in, in, in Canada who are listening to this, there's an event coming up and I'll let Sahas talk about it when we come back towards yeah. the end. So we want people to stay till the very end and then we'll be talking about an event which is happening here very soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. And I'm we are all very thrilled about it. Yeah, yeah you know, the event for coming to like who is it for and what they're gonna learn. It's for people that are trying to find the right circles to get into, to have the right people around them to think about their future now. That's what it's for. It's for people that are start, trying to start businesses, trying to start their life in Canada, and trying to actually be there. What if you already have a business? Well, if so you already you have a business, to scalability, <laughs> right? Called, yeah, how to scale it, how to put systems in place, who to hire, how to be a coach, how to hire the right people around mm -hmm. you to make it a, more successful, more efficient, better lubricated system. So the ship, you know, always yeah. goes faster from yeah. one destination to the other. Yeah. So, and can I learn about social media? in this
in this event? This is going to be a masterclass. A masterclass for everything, not just social media, about marketing and sales. I think mm -hmm. for any uh, any business to to be successful, sales and marketing are going to be very, very important. Factors. Basic fundamentals of the... Yeah. And when we talk about marketing, social media, content marketing, then we talk about ads, we talk about all of these things. Yeah. These are definitely one segment, but I think a lot of people lack on the sales side of the things as well. Yeah. Where I think... Uh, you know, that is where you can scale to the next level. Mm -hmm. But scaling through sales is also good. But now if you don't have processes, right. if you don't have systems, you don't have wisdom in how to create a, how can I become from a salesperson to a business owner, own it as an owner. That is where we are trying to understand that how can we help those people. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like more like a full package. Yeah. You know, like I, what, I, what I've seen is, Every business has an HR department and they're very proud of it. Then they have an accounts department, they're very proud of it. And they don't have a digital marketing department, that happens you know, once in a while. Maybe they have an agency, but there's nobody in-house. So it, does, it could be a solopreneur, it could be anybody who's starting out, or it could be an established business like yourself. Anybody who's coming to this event is going to get, like I said, process that works for Canadian immigrants. You, know, you can't go to the internet and say, teach me digital marketing. It's a large, big field. So you come into this event and you go back with a time-tested process system that all of us have created that allow you to get known in whichever field you are in. Yeah. You, know? you could be the best guy for, uh, you know, I don't know. Insurances, mortgages. Or, you know, or mortgages yeah. or any small business that you have. There's a client of uh, ours uh, in the you know coaching community that I was running many years ago. There was this lady who was in Scotland. It was crazy. She was teaching people how to uh, make corsets. Mm. Now, how, how many people wear corsets anymore? You know, But she was teaching people how to make corsets. Her membership was 10 pounds a month. She was from Scotland. She had a thousand members only. They're making 10,000 pounds a month. One class a week for 30 or for 90 minutes teaching people how to do that at 10,000. Can this business happen anywhere but on the internet? No. So that's, so she did Facebook ads, she called people, she did webinars, she sold, she did 30 webinars in one year and she built a 10,000 pound business which is running for the last seven, eight years. Like that, there are multiple stories. There's a gentleman that's who came in Canada, 62 years old. Uh, I think his name is Raj, I don't know his last name. He started a YouTube channel, he's got only 5,000 subscribers. Out of those, a hundred people buy from him every year, and he sells old cars. You don't need a million followers. The yeah. thing is, I believe people, everybody wants to become an influencer and sell jackets yeah. or shirts or watches. And you just need a, a small maybe community. Small community. Yeah. Hundred people buy from you every year. Yeah. You have a good business. So basically, that's what you're gonna learn. Right. And also <laughs> hang out with these cool guys. <laughs> you know, one thing. On top of learning all this subject, uh, what I love, you know, where my life built is by going to these events, networking events right. where I meet other people. You Talk know. about how you got into real estate. You got into yeah. real estate because what? Because of your, uh, an MLM company where I went for a networking event. Uh, it's it's more like not a networking, it's like Amway. Uh, mm -hmm. They host their event. And I used to go because I don't have anything else. I wanted to do something. I don't know what to do. And this guy took me to this conference. And there, the young guy, he literally just put up a book and say, this changed my life. And that literally changed my life, that young guy. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad. And he, if I would not have been to that networking event, if I would not have met, saw that event, yeah. it, you don't know what can spark in your life. Honestly, like the yeah. networking events have that power. You don't know whom you're going to meet. You don't know what story can move you. Mm -hmm. You don't know what can spark within you. This events. Now think about the trajectory of your life from that event, right? Man, it it's drastically changed. And now you're making over seven years. Like, it's less than five years. Yeah. Less than five years. Amazing. More than seven figure. The life I have now, I have a newborn baby, Financial my family. mom is here, my dad is here, my in-law is here. Um, you you know, I go up to, I got a Tesla and not only just the Tesla, my whole family witnessed that purchase. Right. We drove together. That's in a my, big thing. That was a big dream for me to have my family together with me yeah. because they, we it's lived big. apart for years. Uh -huh. But without my finances in place, I would not have done that. Well done. And the networks give a, networking has a major role for that. That's why they say the circle that you're in is very yeah. important, right? In terms of Dude. trajectory that you're going to go to. So surround yourself with the right people. Yep. You have an opportunity to be here, yep. right? To actually talk, to listen, to actually feel 
the energy in the room yep. from the people that are going to be teaching, coaching, mentoring. Right? You know, so, I call this, uh, you know, in India, they, in, you know, in, in, uh, in, our, in the Indian language, there's a word called Sangat. Sangat is Sangat, company, yeah. Sangat mm -hmm. for the people that uh -huh. you carry. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, it is, uh, I call this uh, networking, like you said, events is the lazy man's guide to success. You don't need to do that. anything. I love that. Don't do anything. <laughs> really don't do that. anything. Just <laughs> get up in the morning. <laughs> come Literally, for a good. <laughs> don't do anything. <laughs> Just come for a good event. Yeah. And all of those crazy people are going to change you 100. percent How can it not Damn. happen? <laughs> <laughs> Same way you go to the gym, right? You go to the gym so and you want nice. to say some people want to get lean, so they go hang out can, with can runners. Can you that once again? <laughs> <laughs> I want that statement. Once again. Networking is a lazy man's uh, uh, guide to success. You know, I can relate to that. So <laughs> I feel I consider. I feel I'm a lazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too. Because I, I, I you know, look, no family here. Hmm. None of my family into business or you know, my parents doesn't even know what. Uh, you know what, what am I doing here? They don't understand that I'm doing social media. Like they think this guy is just stupid. Yeah. It's just they don't understand those. Beta, calm to video bana rahe ho. Sometimes my dad says, "Har baar video karte rehte ki kya dimag nahi hai apka? Kuch kam karo." Bhai, ye mere kam hai. But again, I respect them. They're hard work, but they don't know what I'm doing. Even still, because of that networking, that that lazy networking. Even no, and you know, I've seen so many times. So my, you know, people want to become lean. They always start running. And so they have runners, hmm. and the runners you go, then you follow their life. You yeah. go to a restaurant, they go to a different restaurant. They have different salad and everything. Then there are people who want to bulk up and they have big muscles. Hmm. You see them, they get up different, they sleep different. Yeah. Yeah. So if you hang out with different people, you'll be like, oh my god, how am I bulking? Shit, I'm hanging out with the wrong people or the right people. It's instant. Mm -hmm. You just be with the right analogy. people yeah. for some time. Yeah. yeah, that's so true. So Can change your own somewhere. If you are happy with where you are, just stay there. But if you're not happy with where you are, if you want something that more in life, you know, this is the place where you have to be. So the event is happening on on sixth. Sixth is a Saturday, it's a good day. Six of May. Has a Six of May. You can come with your spouse, you come with your founders, co-founders. Yeah. A lot of people have ideas that, hey, you know what, maybe you and I are going to start up someday or some other yeah. founder. Yeah. So get your people who you've been thinking. They're all sitting together and thinking that I'm going to start up with this person. Get your founders, co-founders, yeah. or to be co-founders, get everybody to the event. We're going to announce the, the venue. It's going to be yeah. in Toronto for sure. Mm -hmm. yep. We're going to announce the venue and uh, maybe we're going to have a link to uh, yeah. for all people. And you know, probably some people would have been thinking about, oh, this guy, is, all this guy is going to be here. It's going to be damn expensive. Mm. It's actually super cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so we've decided a price. Yeah. This is uh, going to be, we want a lot of people to join us. Right. Yeah. And that's the main point of this event is for you to find the person that sitting next to you can be your future business partner. Yeah. The person sitting across the table can be an investor into your business. Yeah. Maybe you guys can start something. You know, before you say the price here, one thing, how many people have asked you to be mentor? Uh, be, uh, how much they were willing to pay you for mentorship? 15 to 20K. How much I, you know, people paying I'm you? Just uh, getting messages every single day. Yeah. yeah. And I paid you. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that. <laughs> <laughs> Your customers are right here. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> how much you, sell, right? you, you, you sell in the beginning, like 20K, 30K 20K. for your... So it's 5,000 months, we try to do 60,000 a year. Yeah. But most people don't finish the one year program, they get success for six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this is good and bad for us. So, <laughs> 20,000, 50,000, 25,000. I've been asked multiple times. I. We only did a couple of times, very with a small group, mm -hmm. which is way more than twenty thousand, two thousand dollars per head in a group of like twenty people, and uh, many people were willing to pay twenty thousand, twenty five thousand for me on a one on one mentorship. So all this together is like hundred thousand value. Yeah. What they have to pay now? Less than a buffet for you and your wife. That's a hundred dollars a person is what we're going to charge. This is going to be an entry point. Think of it as. $100 can change your life. This is, we don't really make any money out of this event. Right. This event is socially just there for us to spread the knowledge, spread the word for you to yeah. be connected. Yeah. And I think that's, we have a lot to give back and, yeah. uh, and the value is just immense. So think of it as, um, and you know, drink a couple less coffees for a month. Yeah. Come on and try. No, honestly, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, don't even come here. Yeah. Uh, because that, if you're not it's willing to right spend amount. that $100, you know, that it's not for you. Exactly. But uh, if you're someone willing to, and you know, who is open to hear what can change your life, mm. then probably this is the place you're going to be. Because everybody's like, oh, India and other places, and there's lots of stuff happening. It's great. 
but why not have make that happen yeah. here? Yeah. Why not make it that same startup, yeah. digital, social, entrepreneurship vibe to Canada? Because That's you, what we're doing. And also, I'm I'm going to tell you that like two years from now, people are going to regret. Hundred percent. Oh my God. Yeah. That you know, I wish I would have listened to <laughs> what Armani is saying about this. I wish yeah. I would have listened to. You know, Bihar. we were talking just before. I wish I should have bought a real estate two years ago. I know, man. <laughs> Five <Yeah>. years ago. <laughs> I wish I saw your video and bought that and be part of your twelve apartments that you just bought. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I have been mentally kicking myself in the shit for the last one hour since I heard that. <laughs> 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 you should have been here two years ago. Yeah. You know, if you wanna be that guy who wished, or who, if you wanna be that guy or girl who like, okay, I know it. Let me at least see mm -hmm. what the potential is there. Come on over, because you know. Honestly, no, this, is, this is strictly for action takers, yeah, right? If you're not an action taker, this is this is not the event for you. It's just you have to have a drive, you have to have a vision, and you have to have a des desire need to say, I want to improve and I want to learn yeah. something. Today. Or I would say, like, even if you don't know where you want to go, oh. or even if you're lost, like, I don't know where mm -hmm. do I want to go in my life. No, I have to know what I really part. want to do. Huh. Yeah. But go somewhere. Go somewhere. Hey, no, no, I I that, right? like, just, that's what I was telling. Like, you know, I didn't know what to do, yeah. but I, I wanted something. Yeah. I don't have it. Like, I know, like, I, I have some pain in life. But initiative thought that. I didn't know exactly. You had I didn't know what to do. Exactly. So for, so you could be a real estate agent, an insurance guy, a mortgage broker, yeah. somebody who wants to start a digital marketer, digital content creator, yeah. Yeah. existing or wanting to be one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any yeah. of these people are welcome. Exactly. Anybody in who sales trying to get into sales, that. learn something that a new skill that can maybe get you out of your nine to five to be a business, to be in business for yourself. Yeah. There, there are people in Vancouver who uh, we will play their case studies on that event who are, uh, you know, joined the social media bandwagon at a certain age where they're like, I don't want to show cars to customers, but they're just doing videos and the cars yes. are selling the videos. And now they have an offer with every dealership. Hey, I love you got the follower, join me. So you can also take your career to the next level. Once yeah. you have your social cloud, take that and get somebody will give you a good offer, man. Yeah, you know what? Currency. Let's not sell too much. If you haven't sold by now, don't even see us. Let's put it this way here. Oh, okay. yes. And by the way, it's only how many people are we doing it? It's just uh, limited. So it's the limit is hundred. We're yeah. yeah. capping it at hundred. Yeah. So, so we only. So it's, only it. yeah. <laughs> That's it's the first hundred people that get to sign up. That's what it is. And then if you know if you're one of the lucky hundred, we'll yeah, you're gonna be lucky to be in this. The, you know, so just if. You don't see the link in the description. I guess I don't know about how many people who are listening to this and they're going to you know see me listening to him, you and I got so much of value right now. Uh -huh. So I will take likewise. cash. Huh? We'll take cash. Bitcoin which Rupiah de dega. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's a, such a wonderful discussion. I enjoyed, I think this is the first one we did all together. Yeah, 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 We've yeah. been talking for a year, so, and more and more will be coming like this, I wish to, yeah. you know, because there's not many immigrants who are taking actions, who can be doing so much. And I want all of us to be that example where we can mm -hmm. guide them. So fantastic. And well, I'm uh, very excited for this event. This is going to be very, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of energy filled in the room. Yeah, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a blast. Really excited too. And yeah. cannot wait to meet you. And the event. Yes. All right. So. Awesome. Thank you guys for joining on this podcast. We will see you all at the event. All righty.